what medical marijuana means for the city of Philadelphia and for patients. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Philadelphia City Councilman at Large, Derek Green. Thanks so much for being with us. No problem. Uh, the first round of applications uh, has just completed related to dispensaries and growers here in the Commonwealth. Now that that has been completed. Talk to us a little bit about the next steps of implementation when it comes to medical marijuana. Well, we're still going through the application process, so that will wrap up um, March 20th. And so what we're looking at is that we're trying to provide the opportunity working with the state to make sure that we implement medical marijuana in a way in the city of Philadelphia that helps as many people as possible that need the services and the medication to help them have a better quality of life. And we want to be clear, we're talking specifically about medical marijuana, Correct. not recreational marijuana Absolutely. in Pennsylvania. Yeah, just medical marijuana has been allowed in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. That legislation was signed into law last spring by Governor Wolf. And there's a small number of products that can be allowed for medical marijuana. Oils, lotions, tinctures, if you know those Listerine strips, those are the type of products that are allowed for medical marijuana in Pennsylvania. And only for specific conditions as well. Correct. Specific conditions like autism, post-traumatic stress disorder, cancer, ALS, those conditions and a few others are allowed to use medical marijuana in Pennsylvania. And let's talk about what this means for the city of Philadelphia when it comes to dispensaries, uh, more so than, than growers, but that can be a possibility here as well. What does this mean for the city and for neighborhoods? Well, one of the things, because I'm very focused on this issue, having a child on the autism spectrum and learning about medical marijuana in other parts of the nation, I introduced legislation that was passed last year to make sure we have the right balance between locating medical marijuana dispensaries in commercial and areas throughout the, the city and also make sure we don't impact neighbors in a quality of life issue that may cause them concerns. And uh, that is something that you are working on uh, as well, but you're also working with the medical community because uh, in order to obtain medical marijuana, a doctor needs to be involved in the process. What kind of response are you getting from doctors? Well, we're getting some good response. There are a number of physicians who, from an anecdotal perspective, want to pre pre uh, prescribe medical marijuana. You know, we have a big opioid addiction issue in not just the Commonwealth, but around the country. And there's a number of physicians that believe that medical marijuana is a way of addressing that issue. So I've had meetings with Thomas Jefferson University. I'll be meeting with other universities to make sure we get the information out and provide a training for doctors about medical marijuana and how it can help their patients. You say it's not just training for doctors, but you want to inform the public about this as well and, and what it could mean for patients, but also maybe dispel some stereotypes or myths associated with medical marijuana? Absolutely. One of the reasons I wanted to be here today to talk about medical marijuana. Uh, these dispensaries are no different than pharmacies in a sense that you're not going to have some of the concerns people may think about. They'll be able to be right in the community. I've had a chance to visit a dispensary in Washington, D.C. It looked like a yoga wellness studio and it blended right into the commercial corridor in D.C. What's the time frame at this point for potentially having these dispensaries in Philadelphia? Well, once we go through the application process probably another year, nine to 12 months after that before you actually see dispensaries here in the city of Philadelphia. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. We've been talking with Philadelphia City Councilman at Large, Derek Green. I'm Jill Horner.